What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. We are going to watch Steven vs. Dipper and I'll talk about how it's made, whatever. I still love this intro. I'm so proud of this intro, I really like it. Like the glowy blue borders around it and the sped up cut down song. I like short, I, I edited the audio myself to shorten it and it came out really good. I like how you can tell that it hasn't been shortened at all. Well, I mean, you can tell it's been shortened, but the audio's not clipping anywhere. Sorry, I am very stuffy. Allergies have got me crazy. And... That's pretty much it. Ah, uh, I want to do a cover of Love Like You so bad, I can hear it playing in the background. Sorry, I'm getting caught up in the song and forgetting about the episode <laughs> itself. So, Steven vs. Dipper. This is actually a very unusual battle. Um, I had just finished watching Gravity Falls, and Steven Universe hype was building up because I had already been watching Steven Universe. And I was like, um, from the outside, I was like, well, they're just kids. They can't do anything. But then I'm like, oh, yeah, Steven has a shield. What does Dipper have? Oh, he has a memory racing gun and a flashlight that changes sizes. That's actually pretty useful in a fight. I mean, Batman could destroy Godzilla if he had the flashlight. He could just make himself bigger than Godzilla and then step on him. So that that's how powerful Dipper's flashlight is. Dipper's flashlight would help him solo Godzilla. <laughs> wow. Or he could... Pretty much solo anyone if he shrunk himself down to the size of a germ and then like infected someone. So yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. So Dipper's flashlight is very good for versus debating. And I'm very glad that this episode wasn't a massive disappointment either. Because so far every episode that I've hyped up has ended up being a huge disappointment to everyone. Saitama versus Goku. Mario vs. Sonic, no one's liked them, but I'm very glad that this one is not falling down that path. So next time is Akuma vs. Ganondorf, we have an animation to go with it, hopefully it'll be done before the episode goes up, because I talked to Alex, he's like, oh yeah, it'll be ready by the set date that you've set for it, and I'm, I'm just kind of worried, I'm like, well, I, I will need it like a few days before the set date, because... I actually I have to actually edit it in the episode because I don't edit these the same day they go up. I edit them one to two days beforehand because honestly, it doesn't take that long to edit. Basically, all the time comes from waiting for all the stuff to come in. I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I just figured I'd mention it since I don't know. I for those for new viewers who haven't heard before how episodes are go how episodes are made. Oh yeah, and I'm also really working on my chemistry between Hero and Vic. Because recently in Death Battle, Wiz and Boomstick have been getting a lot more comedic jokes in, like relating to each other, not even relating to the episode. And it just works very well. Except for Flash vs. Quicksilver, there were some times where it felt a bit forced. Like Boomstick trying to attack Wiz or something and him hurting his balls. And then Wiz's very fake laugh. I mean, I can't be a critic of other people's voice acting because I mean, yeah, I do voice acting myself, but I'm not, like, a professional voice actor. So I can't, like, critique them or anything. But that laugh that was did sounded very fake and very forced. So, I, I think he needs to work on that. But any, anything else was pretty funny that was and Boomstick do. Like that dune buggy story they did. So, I'm just trying to work on the chemistry between Hira and Vic. To make them feel more realistic and entertaining hosts. So they're not just standing there giving you information. Yeah, making fun of what Hira called Crystal Gems and what they called them earlier in the episode. I don't know, I don't really have much to say about this episode because it wasn't a disappointment. Usually when it's a disappointment, I spend the entire commentary trying to explain why and trying to uh, justify it, even though it's not going to work anyways. Because there's no way to justify a mistake if it's a mistake. I mean, because if it's a mistake, it's a mistake. It's That's just what it is. It's never going to be anything more than a mistake. You can't justify it. Like, if you 
if you accidentally spill milk. It doesn't matter if you clean it up, the floor's still gonna be sticky later. Because you spilled the milk, you made a mistake. It's not gonna be anything more, no matter what you do. I know that's depressing, but that's just how it is. A mistake is a mistake. And I'm so thankful that this wasn't a mistake, because I was so excited for this episode. I had so much fun with this one. The only thing I'm disappointed about this episode is the drawings, because... My print... Because the colors were so filled out, they were so vibrant. They were, it was so detailed and so wonderful. But my printer didn't, like, pick up on all the colors, so lots of it ended up being white, and now it looks like scribbles. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> So while the episode itself isn't a disappointment, I'm just disappointed about the fight scene and all that. Uh, but Ganondorf vs. Akuma will have our first proper fight scene. I seriously hope it'll be ready. I haven't seen a single bit of the fight scene either, so I can't tell you what it'll be like. All I have to do is just trust Alex and see what he comes up with. <sighs> and another thing I, I slap myself in the face for later. I like tried to make a mental note to pay attention to what color the flashlight shines when it glows something. It glows blue when it shines something. In the fight scene, I had it glowing purple when Dipper made his fist large. And I was so disappointed. I was like, oh, I was trying so hard to remember and I ended up forgetting anyways. That was just depressing. Uh, <laughs> I got the wrong color for the flashlight. No. So yeah, I don't know what else to talk about, but I won't end it here because I feel like this is a bit too soon. Oh yeah, I've I've posted my reaction to the recent death battle up, and people are already asking about my design in the thumbnail. Yes, I know it's a weird design, it's a much different design, but it's my new design and you'll have to get used to it. Uh, it's I'm going for a more cartoony, stylistic approach. Because honestly, that old design just looked kind of weird. I just didn't like it. And while this one does look weird, it looks cartoony weird, not just weird in general. It looks cartoony weird, and I like it. It's very stylized, and hopefully you'll be able to get used to it, too. And it's not like it's going to be forever. I'll probably redesign myself next year or sometime later this year or something. But for now, this is the design. I like it. Hopefully you'll like it soon enough. And that's pretty much it. Ah, oh, Fight Fighter is my favorite episode of Gravity Falls. I love that episode so much because it just trashed Street Fighter with all the cliches. Oh. Oh. Alright, so I think that's about it. The fight's gonna start soon. His character analysis is closing soon. I don't have anything else to say. So, Leopold the Brave, out.